In this video, I'll talk about a use state mistake lots of junior developers make. So I have this simple counter component here, where if you click the increment button, then the count value increases. The count value is a state and on clicking the button, I'm invoking the handle click function that updates the count state by incrementing its value. Now let's say I do something like this, where I set the count state and increment it again in the next line. A lot of junior developers expect the count value to increment twice in this case. But if I click on increment, you can see the count state only increments once. And no matter how many times I increment, it always increments by one. There is no change in the result at all. Now why is that? Well, because when you set the count, you're basically scheduling a state update. So in this line, you're scheduling a state update, meaning that React will sometime in the future update the count value. When you go to the next line, this count variable here hasn't been updated yet because the previous count was just scheduled and not updated. So this count remains the same as the count above. And after the second set count, another state update is just scheduled and it still doesn't update the count quite yet. And so doesn't matter how many set count you put over here, they all just get scheduled to update sometime in the future, but they're all still using the same count variable while inside this function. So initially when I click on increment, this count here will be zero and this zero plus one, which is one will be scheduled to update sometime in the future. So when we get to the next line, the count here is still zero. It's not one yet. And so this will also schedule the count to be one in the future. And this same thing will continue for all the set count in this function. Therefore, they all will just set the count to one. And so when I click on increment, no matter how many set counts we have, the count will only increment by one and have a value of one instead of five as one would normally expect. The solution to fix this would be to use the function version while updating the state. So you can replace count plus one with a function which automatically takes the previous value as its argument. Then you can use the previous value plus one instead of count plus one to set the value of the count state. This previous value is always up to date. So if you schedule a state update, you can get access to the latest state value as long as you use the function version to update the state in the next line. So this argument will contain the most up to date value of the count value. And now if I click on increment, you can see the count increments by five instead of one and everything now works as expected. Now remember, you can generally use the normal state update for most cases. However, if you have a scenario where you need to set the same state multiple times within the same function, then it's better to use the function version in set state. Your set state depends on the latest state value. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, do drop a like and subscribe for more.